Hi, welcome back to Typecast Heroes, where we believe typology can save the world. I'm Amanda Fogelson. And I'm Jesse Miller. And today we are going to give you first a thank you and then a project update. So first of all, um, Typecast Hero has been in official use since the beginning of this year. Um, the project as a whole launched in May and it has been absolutely amazing. So I work with the type clarification process. I help people find out their type and I also help them along their type clear their type journey as they go throughout their process of engaging with their shadow. And I have worked with hundreds of people at this point um, for the type clarification process. So I just wanna extend a thank you. It is very humbling to work with these people on, on this level and to be a part of their journey and to hear their stories. And I understand that it can be very risky sharing pieces of yourself. So I very much appreciate all of the things that I've been able to learn as I've been assisting people through this process. So thank you for taking that taking that chance on us. And I just wanted to say thank you to all of our supporters out there. So the people who have gone through this process with Jesse, the interview or the type clarification, but also just the people who are sitting here behind the scenes. You guys have no idea the amount of support and love that gets poured into us all the time. Um, and so many of those people who have reached out just saying that they appreciate what we're doing and what we're trying to do um, by getting out this information and having these tough conversations sometimes um so many of those people have turned into such great friends of ours and like lifelong forever friendships have been built and so it's just it's such a beautiful thing and it's so much fun and it's just been like the time of our lives doing this and we can't wait um till we keep growing mm -hmm. we eventually do this full time so an update on the project so eventually um if you don't like we're just gonna i'm gonna give a brief explanation about the project mm -hmm. really quickly so this project uh, began a year ago um, with just interviewing the 16 types of MBTI and learning more about how they presented into reality. It got hyper-focused on the education system um, at the beginning of 2020, and I developed a data, a question set to examine how the cognitive functions present um, in each of the 16 types for the process of understanding the implications on the education system. Originally, the goal was 100 of each type, a uh, hundred of each of the 16 types. And some of the types have turned out in masses. Um, and I have well over a hundred of those. Without counting that overflow, I am sitting at 1400, a little over. So that means I still need about 200 people. However, some of these people have been waiting for the results since the very first wave of interviews, which was in February. So I did not want to hold on to this anymore. So that means that I have until the end of November, which is when I hope to have the paper written to get the rest of the 200. And they are all sensors, except for there's like three ENFPs I need left. And I think there's five yeah. mm -hmm. ENFJs. And that's all I need to fill up those, those two with the 100. Remember, I've interviewed more than 3,000 people, but for a variety of reasons, you can watch the project update from July. I could not use some of those interviews or a, a, a huge chunk of them for a million different reasons. So by the end of this month, the paper will be written. So what I intend to do is with the data sets that I have finished, like the most of the intuitives, I'll be writing those pieces of the paper to talk about all of the things within the education system as it applies to them. And then I'm hoping to have the last 200 of the sensor types by the end of the month. But if not, we will release the data as it is in December. We will have all of those. We'll have at least the first one mm -hmm. released before the end of December. Which is honestly very impressive if you guys knew how much time and effort went into all the things that Jesse's talking about. Um, just the sheer number of conversations that she's had to have just to get this data set has just been mind-blowing it's been amazing um, though i wouldn't yes. change anything for the rest for the world i've loved i love typecast i love everything about it and it has been so fun this is like our life hopefully one day yeah um but that being said so this is essentially in in most of these project updates and in, in pretty much every video that we've posted in general we are doing a general call out for pretty much anyone who's interested in this project who would like to take part in it However, because of this time crunch and this um, 
our desire to get this information out there, we are now only calling sensors. Mm -hmm. And again, if you're an ENFP or an ENFJ and you're certain of that, um, go ahead and, and reach out and because we still do need just like a few more of those. But for the most part, we are calling all sensors with this video. And you can still reach out to us for type clarification. In the beginning when type clarification started, my turnaround was 48 hours. Right now, my turnaround is about a week, mm -hmm. maybe even a little more because we do get so many requests and quarantine ended and we both have real life jobs. So I have not been as fast as possible. So I do appreciate all of the patience that has come with the type clarification process. Mm -hmm. But I do genuinely spend hours on your answers. I think about them and I process them with a lot of focus. And I am willing to maintain a relationship to in, to in, ensure that you are sure of your mm -hmm. type and that you feel comfortable with the type that you've reached. I will never push a type on you. So it's important to me that you feel comfortable with what conclusion we both reach together. Mm -hmm. But because that is a partnership and I do all of this for free because I believe it should be, I will never charge for type clarification. I will never charge for type clarification <laughs> because I feel like it's, it's so integral to human journey. Yeah. So, but having said that it does take time. Mm -hmm. So if you still want to reach out for type clarification, I will still be doing that throughout this month, but I cannot take any more interviews from, from intuitives at this point, except for the two that we mentioned, because the interviews do take about 10 minutes of processing time. And if I've got sensors that I'm trying to process so that I can get into them into the data, it is important that I do so. Mm -hmm. So please, if you are a sensor watching this, or if you know, if you have some sensors in your life, which if you're a human you being, then you do, um, <laughs> then please send them our way because this is, this is, this is the end of it, right? Yeah, this it's a life the end of this. project. Yes. This is like, it's so close. So, so, so close. Um, that being said, also though, this is not the end of mm -mm. typecast in any way, shape or form. And this is also not the end of any of the type clarification or of the interviews. It's just going to evolve. So right now the focus has been education. And then we have years worth of uh, interview ideas and data sets that we want to do over the next 10 years. however long. Yeah. So, um, so this is not the end. It's just the end for right now. We're in this time crunch and we just need to make sure that every second that we're spending on this is uh, effective and efficient. So mm -hmm. no offense to anybody out there. Mm -mm. So thank you so much guys for all of your support. I remember in the beginning, like all the people who let me stumble through the interview process in the beginning, the ENTPs who had to handle me first, poor ENTPs, and then the INTJs <laughs> who helped me hone my process because it was not a good process, and then and helped me like straighten up all of the all the get in line all of the legal things I needed to do. They helped me, um, you know, hone my system to the tracks patterns and. All of the feelers, I did the feelers last, so it was thinker types, and then I jumped into the feelers, and all of the feelers who gave me so much validation and emotional support. Um, right when it was so needed, because, right. you know, it does get somewhat exhausting. Um, I mean, it's it's a lot of passion, and passion can, you can feel a little bit depleted sometimes, and so it was like right in the nick of time that... Yeah, I got like this big boost, yeah. and it was really great. Mm -hmm. So, So thank you guys for all of your support. Um, and I hope you guys stick around for December because before the end of the year, we will have the first podcast of the 16 release and it might be through the beginning, January, February that we fit, like that we release all of the videos, but they will be, the paper should be done. Yep. Will be done. Not should. Will be done by the end of the month. And then we will have the, we will have all of the podcasts released by the by next year so the first yeah. one will come out i promise before before the end, end of, the year. of 2020 yes so we're still we still win <laughs> we still met our, our we still met our goal somehow um, Ish. so show i thank you also for showing patience and grace because being human is freaking hard man it is and hopefully tch and all this understanding and all this information and seeing our smiling faces Every day makes it a little bit easier. Thank you. We love you. Bye. Bye.